so we have now uh, a, a full admission from Jenna Ellis, uh, given under the pressure of trying to preserve her law license in Colorado. That's right. She's admitted that she lied. She lied repeatedly, as you said. She lied when she said that Donald Trump won. She lied when she said that uh, Joe Biden stole the election. She lied when she said there was fraud. And she's admitted that there was real harm from those lies, not just harm in the American confidence and democracy, but you can trace her lies to January 6th very clearly, very directly. And how did you track this case to get it to this point? We began uh, researching all the comments that Jen Ellis said. Obviously, she was a notable figure in the in the Trump world, Trump legal world especially. Uh, we tracked down every comment that she made publicly from the end of the election um, until January 6th. We compiled them, we put it together, and then we analyzed the rules of the professional conduct in Colorado and pinpointed all the various ways in which she had violated those rules, violated those standards, violated the oath that she took to become a lawyer, and we made it clear to the Colorado Supreme Court, I think, that she had violated those responsibilities. And in what we uh, read about this today, she she agrees in writing to what you are saying. Yes, she's agreed with it. She had to. She stipulated to this outcome. She stipulated to the fact that she had lied. She stipulated to the fact that she had violated the rules of professional conduct. And she made clear that she had knowingly, at the very least, knowingly misrepresented facts to the American people. Uh, what else is happening to other lawyers who engaged in this kind of conduct for Trump? Well, we've seen Rudy Giuliani is close to losing his law license in New York. It's been suspended, and D.C. is about to suspend him as well, um, potentially, probably, most likely disbar him. Uh, we've seen other lawyers have uh, state Supreme Courts or, uh, or the state bar move against them, John Eastman in California. And the 65 Project, which I lead, has filed 76 bar complaints across the country against other lawyers. This is a slow process, sometimes maddening slow. Uh, we actually uh, filed our complaint against Jenna Ellis over a year ago, just about a year ago. And so it's a slow process, but we're expecting other lawyers who participated in the effort to also face public discipline.